Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Us and Them from Dress Your Family in Corduroy and Denim by David Sederis. He begins by telling about uh, what happened when his family moved to North Carolina. Now, they here they have come and uh, they are staying in a rented house. And this house is only three blocks away from the school in which he is going to join in the third grade. And he tells his mother made friends only with one neighbor because they were about to shift again the next year. So she said it is no use of becoming close to many people because anyway we are going to say goodbye to them. And in one year we are not going to become friendly with anyone to that extent that they will say goodbye in tears. So they needed one friend. So one friend is enough. And uh, while going, it is only going to be like saying, okay, I'll see you later. And uh, he says, I also took up the same attitude. And I decided not to have many friends. And that is my choice. That is, if I want to, I can have friends. But this is not the right time. Because one year, again, I'm going to go to another place. So I even I thought I'll be like my mother. Earlier, they were living in North uh, New York State. And uh, he says... In that place, there were no sidewalks or street lights. And when you're walking in the road, you will be the only person who's walking. So you'll be alone there. But here in North Carolina, he can see houses. And there were people in those houses. And he even thought that when he's walking in the dark, he may even see a murder. He may witness a murder. But uh, the most interesting part is, the neighbors did not come out at all because all of them were busy watching TV in their own house. Except one person named Mr. Tom Key. And this Mr. Tom Key did not believe in having a television. And who gave this information is his mother's friend. One day she came in the afternoon and gave them a basket full of okra. Okra means lady's finger. And she just gave it as an information. She did not uh, add her feelings to it. If his mother had told... What? They don't have a television? I think this must be the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. The friend would have said yes. Or in, in case if his mother had said, ah, very good, three, uh, three cheers to Mr. Tom Key. And if she had appreciated his attitude, for that also the friend would have appreciated. So he's saying it was only an information given to test how they were uh, going to take their information. And um, he says it is different to not have a television and not to believe in having a television because he feels that maybe the television had a master plan and Mr. Tomkey was against it or it also in, uh, told you that they were thinking too much about everything and uh, when his mother told this information to that Mr. Tomkey did not believe in television his father said yes yes it's good for him and even I don't believe in it and the mother says, even I feel the same way. But after saying this, they switched on the TV and they watched the news and all the programs that came after the news. Now the word spread every way that Mr. Tomkey did not have a television. And um, some of them said, yes, yes, it's good not uh, having a television. But at the same time, many felt that if he does not believe in, in having a television, it is not fair on his part to inflict his belief on his innocent wife and children because they should not be deprived of watching the television and at the same time they were thinking what will they do if they do not have a television in that time and they thought just like how a blind man will develop the other senses much better like uh, he will have a keener sense of hearing in the same way these tom case should compensate that time that is the tv time for something else and uh, his mother's friend said, maybe they read in that time. And his mother said, maybe they will listen to radio. But they are doing something. That was the news which was going around. And uh, this curiosity came into him also. And he wanted to know what that something was. So he started looking into the Tom Key's window. During the daytime, he will stand across the street from their house and act as though he is waiting for someone and keep looking at their window. In the night time, when no one can see him, he will go into the yard and hide in the bushes beside their fence and notice what they are doing. And he saw that because they did not have a TV, 
they were forced to talk during dinner they talked a lot in the dinner and they were not worried about how they looked they did not worry about that a camera will not find them interesting they did not know what attractiveness was or they did not know what dinner was supposed to look like and they were not even bothered about the time when they were supposed to eat and sometimes they will sit even till 8 o'clock when all the houses have even finished washing their dishes up and during the meal mr tomkey will uh, pound the table and point uh, a fork at his children and after he has done all this they will sit and they laugh together and uh, he thought maybe he is imitating someone else and he even thought maybe he looked into their house and he is imitating his family to their children now fall arrived fall means like how we have summer and winter they will say it is fall and school began and he saw the Ch- tomki children uh, walking up the hill with a paper sack in their hands he noticed that the son was one grade lower than him and the daughter was one grade higher and they never spoke with each other but in the school also he made it a habit to go and spy on them and he wanted to know how they were looking at others and he was wondering what it will be like to stay without even watching tv uh, if they don't watch tv they will not know much news then they will be uh, left alone and uh, he was even wondering whether a normal person can ever be like this and uh, he was thinking all this looking at this uh, elmer fit lunch box and uh, he wanted to think about something about uh, this elmer is a uh, it's a famous uh, rabbit uh, series where the, it will it is a very famous very intelligent rabbit but uh, it will not be able to pronounce the letter r but it is very different from other rabbits and it's very intelligent and now when he's looking at elmer since he has seen uh, elmer in many tv shows it's an animation uh, series uh, he has seen it and so he knows that elmer is a very popular celebrity a very intelligent rabbit he was not able to look at his lunch box as though he is looking at the drawing of a rabbit this rabbit is a character for him and uh, same way one day in the class a boy named william he wrote a wrong answer on the blackboard and immediately his teacher said warning will danger danger and she was actually imitating a robo in a weekly show uh, which is uh, about a family which lived in outer space knowing that the teacher is imitating the robo everyone laughed and uh, he thought that the tomkeys will not understand because they don't watch tv and maybe when now when they hear the teacher talking like this they will think that the teacher has got a heart attack and he felt that someone have to go and guide them someone will tell them what to do in an average day and uh, he ha- they have to explain everything to them and he feels that he can do that in weekends but if he does that then pitting them because he is feeling very sorry for them for not watching tv that will go off so for that reason he kept himself away in the october the tomkeys brought a boat and everyone seemed greatly relieved particularly his mother's friend and uh, she was very sure that the motor was a second hand motor and it came to know like everyone came to know that mr tomkey's father in law owned a house on the lake and he had invited the family to come to his place whenever they liked and that is why since they don't watch tv they are free in the weekends they went there to the uh, tomkey's father in law's house but here he felt as though one of his favorite show had been cancelled halloween is a, a festival which falls on october 31st and in this year it uh, was on saturday and on halloween day children will dress up like witches or like tramps and they will go to everyone's house and they will collect uh, candies chocolates and all that and this time uh, their mother took them to a store and by the time they could go all the good costumes were sold out his sisters dressed as witches and he went as a hobo hobo means a, a jobless person who moves from one place to another and uh, he wanted to dress himself like a hobo and go to tomkey's door but since it was weekend saturday they had gone to the lake and their house was dark but before going they had kept a coffee can full of gum drops near their house with a board saying don't be greedy meaning you can take what you want but don't take too much 
and um, these uh, gum drops are actually very um, less like uh, the it's very cheap and that is why they had brought lots of gum drops and kept there and some of the gum uh, gum drops had dropped inside the dog's bowl which was filled with water and it was floating there and when he looked at that uh, he felt disgusting because he thought how these gum drops will look when it is in his stomach and at the same time he felt it was very bad on someone to say uh, like he himself didn't want to want those gum drops but telling someone don't take too much of these was really insulting and then and even his sister lisa felt the same thing and she said who do these tom think uh, tom keys uh, think they are and uh, that night got over they went to many houses collected a lot of candies and his sisters and he were very happy they were sitting and watching tv when the when they dole well ran usually visitors will never come to their house so his father stayed back but mother sisters and he ran downstairs and when they opened the door they saw the whole tomkey family standing in front of their house their parents were as usual but the daughter and son were dressed the daughter was uh, dressed as a ballerina ballerina means a dancing girl and uh, the boy was dressed like a rodent rodent means these uh, squirrels rats all or rodents uh, rabbit and all that and they had made uh, ears with terry cloth and his tail looked something like an extension cord and uh, since uh, they had spent the weekend in the lake they had missed the opportunity of observing halloween so they said will you mind if we uh, are if we play trick or treating now trick or treating is asking for a candy and he thought this behavior is because they do not watch tv because if they had watched tv they will know that halloween should have celebrated the previous day and asking for a candy on halloween day was okay but asking for a candy on the next day that was on november 1st was like beggy and definitely people like he is a small boy it will make them very uncomfortable and he feels that you should uh, learn certain simple things to be along with other people and he was very angry with the tom case for not understanding it and coming and asking a candy from him on the next day but his mother said no no it's okay come and uh, she asked the kids to go and get the candy his elder sister gretin said that she did not have any candy since her mother had taken all the candy and given uh, to those who came to the house but the mother was saying no no not that can- candy some other candy go and get it now his second sister lisa she said but those candies are what we earned meaning that they had gone to each and every house and collected the candies and so she felt that she had earned it and she was not willing to part with it but his uh, his mother was talking exactly about the candies which these children had collected from other houses uh, and she did not want the tomkeys to think that they she is going to give what they have collected from other places she wanted the tomkeys to think that they were always had a bucket of candy lying in the house and if anyone knocks at their door she will give it to them so she just turned up the children and said go fast and get the candies uh, now his room was very close by and if only the tomkeys had looked in his room's direction they could have seen his bed and on the bed there was a brown paper bag and on that he had written my candy keep away that is whichever is inside this brown bag is mine so no one should touch it and uh, he did not want to give anything to them and he did not want them to know how much of chocolates he had so he went fast to his room and shut the door and he even closed the curtains and he emptied the bag on the bed and all the chocolates fell in the bed and he was searching for the crumpiest one so that he can give it to them in fact chocolates always make him sick and uh, uh, he doesn't know whether he is allergic to chocolates but even if he has a small amount of chocolate he will get a severe headache and that headache will sometimes even go to the extent of blinding him but even then as a child because according to him children will love chocolates and they have to have chocolates so generally he does not show that he will not have chocolates he will not even tell uh, that uh, only because of chocolates he has got this headache he will either blame the grape juice or he will tell that his mother's secret smoke only has caused the headache or maybe the class is now very tight and that is why 
he is uh, having headache he will blame on anything but he'll never accept the truth that it is because of chocolates he's got this headache and he knows very well that his candy bars are really poison for him because it will give him headache but they are branded chocolates so they are very costly and uh, he loves to eat them so he keeps them as pile number one and definitely he will not give it to the tom keezer now in the hall he can hear his mother trying to hold on a conversation with the tom keys and she's talking about the boat which they have and she asks whether they will drive the boat directly into the water but mr tom key says no that they have a trailer and uh, she says what kind of a trailer is it he says it's a boat trailer and she says is it wooden and all that and she was trying to have a conversation with them but he understands that there were two messages behind his mother's words one is inquiring about the trailer but at the same time saying i am finding it very difficult to continue the conversation the second is for message to his sister and to him that is if you don't come out immediately you will know the other side of me i will not be affectionate with you people you will lose your freedom and happiness now he knew very well that his mother will come into his room any time and collect whatever chocolates are available there without regarding the way he has treated them and uh, if he had thought better he would have hidden the chocolates in his dresser but the thought that any time his mother will come and open the door knob made him to tear the wrappers of the chocolates and stuff all the chocolates in his mouth as though he is going for a eating competition and most of the chocolates were very small and easily it was going into his mouth and at the same time he was also trying to chew them as usual he got his headache but he did not blame the chocolates for it but he said that this headache is because of the tension he is undergoing and as expected his mother told the tom keys that she is going in to check on something and she opened his door and stuck her head inside his room and asked what the hell are you doing actually she asked it as a whisper and since his mouth was full of uh, chocolate he just said uh, something and then she understood he will not answer her so he she told the tom keys i'll be just back in a minute and she came to his room she closed the door and came to his bed now he started opening one by one uh, packets which he had kept in the pile two which were the second big things he had received and he knows very well that he was opening the wrappers in a very hurried manner and he was hurting them destroying them but he thought it is better than giving it to someone else so he was trying to eat as much as chocolates as possible and um, he was trying to open a box a small box of red hots but his mother took it from his hand accidentally she opened the full box for him and the pellets of chocolates clattered on the floor and he was staring at it and as he was staring at those uh, pellets which fell on the floor she snatched a roll of nico wafers he started begging his mother not to give those up but when he opened his mouth since his mouth was full of chocolates that also chewed chocolates it fell on her sleeve and uh, as she was picking up the chocolates he was not willing to give those chocolates so he's saying don't take those don't take those not those not those but she shook her arm and the chocolate which fell on her sweater fell on the bed and she said you should go and look at yourself really i'm saying going go and look at yourself and along with the neko wafers she took several tootsie pops and a half a dozen caramels which were wrapped in cellophane and she went back to the tom keys and apologized for her absence and she gave the candies to him to them and he could hear the candies falling in the the bottom of the bag and now mrs tom key asked the children uh, to say thank you and the children said thank you and left now he knew very well that he was in trouble because he did not take the candy sooner at the same time he knew that his sisters were in more trouble because they did not come at all so most of the time they were only in their rooms and then slowly one by one came out of their rooms went upstairs and joined their parents who were watching tv he was the last to go there and he took a seat on the floor beside the sofa the show was a western show and even if he did not have the headache he will definitely understand what the show is because it's a popular show and they have continuously watched it and um, it was about uh, the outlaws that is uh, people who do some crimes they were on a rocky hilly top and uh, they were 
um, like there was a dust um, advancing from the horizon and they were uh, climbing uh, against it. And now his thought again went to the Tom case and he thought how they are different, how out of place they looked in their costumes. And suddenly he asked, what was up with that kid's tail? But the whole family was so much involved in watching the TV. The answer was shh, meaning don't talk, just watch TV. And uh, actually he was wondering because for months he had watched these people and thought that they are very innocent. He had pitied them. But this one stupid act of going into the room and uh, trying not to give his candies to them had made the whole situation hard and ugly. And this was very uh, uncomfortable because now he had a feeling of loss. He wasn't friendly with the Tom Keys. But at the same time, the Tom Keys had made him to experience the feeling of curiosity. He has always thought, oh, we have to make these uh, Tom Keys know what is happening around them. And that had made him feel very generous. But now he felt like hurting them. And the only alternative for hating them was to listen to what his mother had said and take a good look at himself. Actually, this was an old take. Like if you want to stop hating others, it's better to look into you and see what you had done. Now he created a mental picture of himself sitting on the bed and his mouth smeared with chocolate because he was stuffing all the chocolate in his mouth. Now actually he's a human being but this picture made him feel like a pig surrounded by trash and he was trying to eat something for himself so that he will avoid that uh, eatable items, edible items to go to others. Others will be denied of this chocolate sir. And then he thought like is this the only image in the world for him to think? Because there are so many other images also like the one which was shown in the TV where he saw a stagecoach coming around the bend with a cargo of gold. Then there was a shiny new Mustang convertible. Then there was a teenage girl who had a beautiful mane and she was uh, sipping Pepsi through a straw. And many pictures were coming one after another on the television to divert his attention till the news came. Then the news came and after the news, whatever programs came, he started seeing that and his attention got diverted. The story ends here. It's a beautiful story. And if you have anything to say to what I have said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. Thank you.